Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Letterer, and today I'd like to discuss vision in infants. Such an interesting subject. The fact that we can now evaluate a baby at any age and measure their sight, both behaviorally and electrophysiologically, in a very objective, non-invasive way, is amazing tools that are now available to evaluate children that do not have to talk to me to get a significant understanding of what their sight is or what their prescription is in terms of glass needs or if they have an eye that turns or if there's a tendency to have limitations of eye movement function. These are things we need to know early. Infant development is so dependent on vision. Vision guides motor movement through space. It leads the awareness of depth perception, which develops very rapidly in early months of development. And those things of knocking off the toys on the, off the, their chairs is something that experiences of depth perception parallel the development of those systems in the neural system of the brain. So I think it's extremely important that these, these perceptual development things occur, that they enjoy the fact that they have normal visual system upon which to guide this development. However, there are many children who are not discovered as having certain conditions at infancy that I only see when they're five or six. Uh, children with a lazy eye where the eye doesn't turn. I think most of these children have an eye turn. You know, it's obviously picked up by the parents and the grandparents, but it is those children that don't have an eye turn, that don't have one eye that deviates that becomes a lazy eye, but have two eyes that are straight, where one eye gets disuse, becomes on timeout as a result of not functioning yet it's hidden. And so it's these kinds of cases that we need to identify early before I look at a mother who wonders why did it take the school screening at five or six years of age to determine that this condition was present. I think it's so important when we can diagnose these problems very effectively, when we can use intervention to change these things, to help normalize these systems that make what I do so important. But it's also when there's a limitation based on what we see at five or six years of age that the limitations in that system, the fact that we cannot always normalize a lazy eye that's had five years to embed, that becomes the most distressing thing of trying to clinically help a parent. I guess the only thing you can do is tell them, I'm going to handle this child like mine. If we can get that vision, we will. And that aggressive nature to go as hard and core as we can to bring back that vision, even though limitations have to be discussed as well. So I hope this gives you some insights into infant vision and some insights in the fact that vision is a critical tool in the development of that child and that early intervention, early diagnosis, early screenings, especially when it's at risk in the family, need to be done. And that the more you know, the more we protect those children.